Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for already joining and releasing the hearts and inviting your followers and friends. So happy to have you. Hello, hello, hello. So happy to have you all join me on this afternoon. So glad to have you. Welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. Just wanted to encourage you all on this Wednesday. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for joining. Welcome everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, welcome. So glad to have you. I miss you all also. Sorry I um didn't scope. I was I enjoyed the holiday, so I got away. So I was stuck in traffic, so I wasn't able to periscope then, but I'm glad to be with you all today. Thank you so much for joining. I just wanted to be able to encourage you all uh, midday on this uh, Wednesday. Thank you, Commander Connect. Just wanted to be able to encourage you all on this Wednesday. It's something that I was thinking about last week that I didn't scope about, so I want to make sure, hi, I wanted to make sure that I came on and encourage you all today. As you can see, the topic um, for this quick scope is called What He's After. What He's After. Um, I, was, I was able to have a conversation um, with a young lady on Hello from Bermuda. I was able to have a conversation with a woman um, a couple of weeks ago and she was sharing with me how her and her husband were believing God for something that literally would be a miracle. And she was sharing how she hasn't really been able to tell a lot of people because she knows that some people will try to dissuade her and try um, to make her feel as though she's believing God for something too big. And as I thought about that conversation later in the day and um, going on into the week, what I realized, um, what the enemy was after more than anything was her testimony. Because what she was believing God for, when that manifests, it will give her a testimony that will encourage other people in ways that she doesn't even know. And I began to think about that more and more and more. And I realized that one thing that the enemy is after more in this season than he's been before is our testimony. And that's why for some of us, he sent the spirit of fear for us not to launch out, leap out, take that leap of faith, um, for us not to obey God. Because he knows, he knows that when we walk into the manifestation of the blessing of God because we obey God, that won't just be a blessing for us, it will give us a testimony. And in this, in this season and in this time, a lot of times you don't hear people sharing their testimony. And in Revelations 12 and 11, it says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. There's a key word that's in that scripture, and it says overcame. Sometimes we don't understand what we've overcome. When we share that with other people, it will help them overcome. It can be the very key that helps them to launch. It can be the very key that helps them to believe. Sometimes people need to see, people need to hear, people need to know that this can happen for them as well. So many times when you feel as though you're just stuck or you can't move, it's because the enemy is trying to halt you because he knows when you overcome, you will have a testimony and your testimony can help other people defeat him. For when he said they can't, for when he said Said, that'll never happen but when he tries to tell them that's impossible when he tries to tell them that's not your portion when he tries to tell them because of your past you can't and you come and you share your testimony that can be the fuel that can be the key for many people that can be the very weapon that they can use to war against the enemy so for many of you just keep moving just keep pressing just keep obeying because the enemy isn't just 
after you. He is after your testimony. And don't let him take it. Don't let him have it. Count the cost, pay the price so you can have that testimony, not just for you, but to be able to help others overcome. <laughs> to help others overcome. I remember I was sharing a testimony and I didn't, you know, sometimes I feel as though I'm just sharing. I forget that these are actual testimonies of things that I've overcome in life. And I was sharing with a friend of mine and it blessed her tremendously to believe God for something bigger, to believe God for something greater, to believe God for something out of the box. And that's why the enemy attacks us because he, because when people can look and say, if she can do it and God is no respect of persons, I know I can do it too. So that's my encouragement for you all today. We are in September and some of you are pressing and pressing and pressing and you're wondering why we've gotten to this part and it feels as though the 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 pressure has gotten stronger it feels as though trying to get past this this last hurdle has gotten even the more difficult it's not it's 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 for a purpose <laughs> because he does not want you to have that testimony so be encouraged be encouraged to push harder to do more um to be even the more diligent to be even the more committed to the things of God because when you overcome you will cause many more to overcome so I just wanted to encourage you all with this scope on today um, I will be doing my teaching scope for those of you who are new I will be doing my teaching scope and this is going to be a scope of encouragement as well it's going to be tonight at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time um, and I want to also apologize some of you have been trying to reach out to me on my website and I was made aware that my contact form hasn't been working so if you wanted to reach out if you wanted to purchase a book and you thank you you wanted to purchase a book and you wanted me to sign it and autograph it for you and put a message in there if you go to my Facebook page which is Mashani Allen author you can send me an inbox there and I'll be able to respond to all messages Messages. The name of my book is called The Beauty of Holiness. Um, it's You can purchase it on my website, MashaniAllen.com. Um, here's a copy of the book. You can purchase it there. Thank you. You can purchase it there. But if you want to communicate with me, because some people were trying to reach out to communicate with me, if you go to my Facebook page, Mashani Allen Author, um, you'll be able to reach out and I'll be able to respond to you and even send you copies of the book from there. I thank you so much for joining me all, for you all joining me um, today. I look forward, hopefully, to seeing you all tonight at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, what I'm going to speak on tonight is really going to be another level of encouragement for us as we enter the last phase of 2016. Again, um, he's after your testimony and don't let him have it. Be blessed. Okay. Thank you all. Blessings, blessings. Okay, it doesn't want to stop. <laughs> let's see. Um, let's do this. You can find the book on my website, MashaniAllen.com.